What's going down everyone? Today we're going to be looking at Borderlands 3, a brand update that comes to us on April 8th and what breaks down from Gearbox and what they're giving us. My name is Mac, you're the MacGyver 7 channel, and today is some game related news. Let's go ahead and slide into it, shall we? As of noon Pacific Standard Time, this whole update should have come. The content of Director's Cut add-on and the quality of life for machines for the base game. And the additional requests in the community and the full list are down below. New content includes a lot of cooler stuff inside of newer layers, previously sealed doors on Pandora, and a Director's Cut. Your chance to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a pincer the monstrous enemy. On top of that, we're going to be looking at where the players can complete the main story and own the director's content. You will receive a raid mission from the Claptrap. On top of Sanctuary 3, where almost all of these raid missions and or holiday missions come from. It will cost 500 iridium like they mentioned in the last update to stock up for all that lovely purple loot. For as far as the group, you will open the door, it will give you an opportunity of new loot if you succeed. Looking on past that for the added support, Ava's murder mystery. Ava is convinced she has a lead on some potential supernatural slain and has decided to document her findings. It's surreal podcast form, oh yeah, 21st century style, on the portion of where her gunner totting co-host as you investigate the strange happenings on Pandora, Promethea, and Eden 6, on top of Necro de Feo, in the search for the answer and the loot. It's a nice map spread with some of the help from familiar faces. Adds behind the scenes content, new menu options for as far as the available director's cut owners, explore a gallery of full concept art, storyboards, lost maps, footage throughout the game development. Oh, it's like basically like the digital, like freaking like, this is what we did when we were making the game, which you normally used to get back in the day when you bought a physical collector's edition. That's cool. Uh, moving on past that, that's a nice little add on to them. Leave it to Gearbox to have something really cool like that. On top of the included some vault cards for as far as the implement what they were talking about for as far as last update they were saying get ready for the cards get ready for the ethereum as far as far as the iridium comes down to the situation of the new challenges that will be fueled for the base progression in the systems of borderlands 3. the themed portions that will come down to the supreme powerful gear to scale your levels the vault cards will have three daily challenges and remember you will have to switch these in order if you were utilizing the other booster from last time and one multiple weekly challenge each daily challenges reset at nine o'clock and weekly challenges reset every thursday same time new content for the season two pass holders is new pieces of gear in the arms race for the players and the designers cut adds the disciple of the vault cosmetic pack for the players with the season pass pretty cool for as far as the new base game content add support for for as far as maurice and the black market and the vending machines maurice black market vending machines is offering a different top tier legendary loot that will be hiding in the new location each week and the excluding the dlc maps for as far as this vending machine well relocate at every nine o'clock just like our weekly challenges for as far as crazy earl he'll re-roll his machine in the 250 iridium for as far as what will be able to re-roll the existing anointment on each piece of gear but beware you can take it back once you've re-rolled your anointment so can't take it back have that bear in mind this machine for as far as the permanently located near Crazy Carl on Sanctuary 3. On top of the opened diamond armory on Sanctuary 3, located under the bridge on Sanctuary 3, the diamond armory opens a whole room of loot. 
the room of activities will be used as the diamond keys which were talked about last time which are rare rewards that can be obtained through the vault cards quite the shift up as they kind of get into the situations now for as far as gameplay and what they've implemented in this brand new 1.23 for borderlands 3 we're looking at updated r y n a h to be able to roll the anointment the update for as far as the broken hearts day weapon will be able to roll with the anointments and the heavy damage in the artifacts to properly increase heavy weapon damage actions and skills and the activities in the anointments so this switching to an asa anointed weapon while the action skill is active and benefits from the anointment the report concerns that all players would not hear the Ir iridian logs in the medic bay after the first vault mission update dlc two through four to properly scale with the players in the level in true vault hunter mode on top of the updates for as far as the iridium jars and moxie's heist and handsome jack's jackpot to appear correctly for all players rename the operatives in the critical mass for the classes and the mods is now properly named spy for as far as the critical mass in the new class mod and the director's cut the name was switched along the way somewhere and changed correctly to that the updates on the hot springs and the legendary grenades in the director's cut to show correct texture, the reports and the issues that were causing for the downed players to stay in the FFYL fight for your life after being revived in the arms race, addressed reported issues for the skill points gained during the arm race not being granted properly the indicator that players and the spectating in arm races after dying noticeable hitching throughout the game when players were engaged in heavy battles on top of the timed events that were granted current in the event rewards if the players played the previous year captain haunted the prevent from the stayed invisible portion which you would want if his portion of destruction too quickly for the players will not see the changes until the blood harvest returns adds hot fixes to the games permanently quick changes to the stations in the takedown and the mallow and black site and the takedown for the guardians breach volt hunter changes that came into play which was Mose and the gunner for as far as havoc the ability to award the proper amount of damage after entering the fight for your life amora for as far as the skill that correctly activated doing damage inside of her phase grasp in the situations that would not grab those enemies likely a boss on top of that for as far as the raise flare in the orb in the act of properly aiming at the ground using an action skill for as far as switching weapons at the same time so for most people who were multitasking that action was getting a little bit jogged up modified the sirens remnant skills and the projectiles to have its own damage source updated the remnant skills to only allow guns and action skills and the damage to pass through the remnant ord and match the item cards block and the beast master and the cmdlet basically leet on the lit on the class for as far as they triggered on the bullet and the melee and the skill damage they continued on for the ion loader and the pets for the following moves and the enemies when utilizing the eyes and laser attacks and beastmaster and the bad astra and the skin and the quick change to use the correct icon for as far as the specific changes, PC and the update and the friends list and the epic version of Borderlands 3 not displaying the friends that it did not exist. Well, now they do. Your friends list works on epic. Moving on past that, the console now has the update for the edge detection for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. The address 
issues that have in split screen that cause some art textures to overcross in the bottom of screen, update the icon display inside of the echo map in split screen, and the operative double barrel skills to show full effect in split screen. Split screen was quite an issue. Now PlayStation comes down to a list before we get to Xbox for as far as the reported portions that cause tales from the Iridian slab and the masters of your survey. The trophies to sometimes not unlock on PlayStation 5. Players that have completed these requirements should have the trophies awarded the next time they play Borderlands after the update. And it addressed an issue for as far as what caused the Guardian ranks to reset and when transferring the save data from 4 to 5 now has been fixed and the shift codes. now. For as far as the way that they would be streaming that with inside of your PlayStation 5 now works correctly. For as far as the reported portion of issues that were caused for the some players that were unable to search for other players starting matchmaking, which was very much needed, and they addressed various system errors that would sometimes display on PlayStation 4 and show a slower HHD seems like it was just like not being able to keep up with the hard drive for the addressed reports and the issues was sometimes causing players and characters in the map locations not to be shown in multiplayer xbox which we come down to a very short additional point of the patch note we can see that it addresses that sometimes the xbox users were unable to join their friends for as far as in the Invite list and the addressed portions of the Xbox players continually playing online without an active Xbox Gold subscription. Seems like that definitely would be something of an Xbox exclusive for improved server on the xbox as well so that consolidation should hopefully come down to a nice situation the additional fixes will also go live on the platform for future updates as they have implanted this long 1.23 for borderlands pretty cool we're getting down to some cool stuff they produced they gave us a hey we had to move this back and now here it is so have fun everyone leave a comment down below if you're newer to the network i would definitely recommend subscribing i'm sure that randy will be throwing out some like golden keys which I will make a no short video for everyone so you can get some more swag. So, everyone, thank you so much. I'll see you guys and gals in the near future. Stay safe, stay classy, and I will see you there. And if you did subscribe, which is absolutely free and helps me out as a creator, slam that Liberty Bell, which is the notification bell down the center, and you'll be getting all the new notifications as they ring out from my channel. Have a nice one, everyone, and see you in the future.